Welcome to Miley Daily. Uh, 54% of you are not subscribed to this channel. Please subscribe. Welcome to Miley Daily. It's it's a Miley Daily. It's a great time here. You'll love it. Like and subscribe. Thank you. See you soon. We're going to start this wonderful National Bird Day with show and tell. I've heard that there are a lot of posts this week. What is show and tell? If you haven't been here before, show and tell is a new weekly segment that we do on the desktop stream where viewers get to do blog posts showing and telling what they have done regarding wildlife or conservation or anything related to that uh, with the community. Everybody can share. Here we go. Let us begin. And we'll talk more. We'll talk more after that. Uh, I'm not going to link it so that you don't crash the site. Does the mic sound weird? Talking to the mic. <clears throat> it does sound weird. It sounds weird in my ears now that I'm thinking about it, but I think it's just because I was thinking about it. No? Okay. Cool. Uh, I don't know. Tier 3! My mom says I have to apologize for what I said in your dream. Yeah, it was really weird. I, I had a dream that I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw Hell Satan's Twitter and he uh, said something really fucked up. And I was like, what the heck? Anyway. Um, try that. All right, here's some pictures of Norwegian crows. I watched the Animal Quest episode and it occurred to me that our crows look quite different. They're apparently what's called a hooded crow, subspecies of the European carrion crow, where the American crow is, I'm not going to say that, they look more floofy because of the cold. I found out while looking this up that while crows look different, ravens are the same all over the northern hemisphere. That is something I didn't know. That's cool. Oh my. They're cute. They're wearing jackets. Oh! Cute! Cute, cute, cute. Thanks, Aiden. Cool folks. Community outreach. I've been working with DWIX. I've been working with my environmental agency of, of my country since last October, doing community cleanups, but I did attend a meeting to discuss environmental policies in the country and kayaking environment, discussing species richness in a local park. My humble collection so far, valid volunteering license from a lo local government program, and a certificate of appreciation by the environmental agency. Yay! Good for you! An award. Um. Oh, I'm just taking my- cute. Wow, look at you go! Oh my gosh, cool! Trash cleanup! Hey. Little, little seminar situation. More trash cleanup, very cool! An award! Good for you. That is so cool. Viewers all over the world. Alright. African penguins on the beach. Squid? You saw African penguins on the beach? In the- in the- in the wild? You saw them in the wild? Is he here? This is so cool. Where is this? <laughs> Where? I want to see them. Oh wait, that's not that's not a penguin. What the heck is that? What the heck is <sighs> South Africa? He's from South Africa? Oh my God! You live with them? They're just there. Florida Wildlife Rehab. Um, cry aside. Some f photos at a wildlife sanctuary. I volunteer at hospital. Receives native intakes as well as ambassadors and has display animals housed at the sanctuary to care for when they're sick or injured. Yes. Cute. We got a wildlife rehabber. Barn owls. Angry barn owls. A screech owl. A little of it angry. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Like a cormorant, maybe? Oh, uh, it looks like a... I don't know. It's a baby hawk. It's a kite. Display ambassadors. A parrot. Wow. An opossum. An ambassador. I would love to have an opossum ambassador. Flynn Rider the Squirrel Glider. Me and one of my coworkers have become co-parents to a baby sugar glider. Squirrel glider at my work. His name's Flynn Rider the Squirrel Glider. He was born on display at our sanctuary. We've been raising him to be an educational ambassador for conservation and action show. He's six months old and is currently really strong. Crate training. Stations on our hands is working on his gliding distance and aim. He lands on our heads in front of our show audiences. See those chin scratches. He's moved to a big enclosure now. Oh. Look at him go. He's amazing.
He's amazing. She can't get away fast enough. <laughs> that was funny. Um, cute. He's really cute. He's really cute. Wow. In the pocket. I love it. Oh. Oh, I just did. Sorry. Wild deer become friends with our dotes. Mike Curtis. Family owns a farm in Georgia. Goats, rabbits, as well as great Pyrenees. Uh, we don't hunt on our land. Local deers have moved in. Um, we found that all the does have been having their fawns in our pasture because their dog doesn't bother them and protects the area. So they're getting more comfortable. Cute! This is a yearling. I think it's that. <laughs> a yearling that's been grazing on their, on their pasture. Very cool. Thank you, Mike. Supporting pollinators by planting a flower garden in my backyard. This is sick. I just had this conversation with someone today. Um, this summer I undertook a project to do my part in helping my support, support my local pollinators. Wildflower mix supplemented with milkweed, very cool, and added a bird feeder and bird bath. New garden provides a more beautiful view from my home office window and her dog loves observing the new visitors. Cardinals, oh cute, cardinal courtship feeding, butterflies, bees, bugs, hummingbirds, chipmunks, squirrels, rabbits, and even a vole. Good for you! They're pl they plant a pollinator garden. That's so nice and fun. It's so pretty. Good job, Simelio. Simelio. <laughs> macro photography from your boy Rainbow. I used to do macro photography. Here are some of the cool bugs I photographed. Oh my god, I love macro photography. I love up close photos of bugs. They're so cool. These are sick. Cute. Jumping spider when? So cool! Oh no. He's stuck. Birds of Prey from Lucy. I've always loved Birds of Prey. Watching my NLBS has been a massive motivation to get out there and be more involved. I work at a Bird of Prey Center and we have meerkats. I hope you enjoy the pictures. Aww. Good for you! Cool! A little kestrel. The barn owl. A little hair talk. Meerkats. Oh my god. Sick. <laughs> I don't even know what a Chilean blue eagle is. I've never heard of that. Oh god, that's me. Sorry. Nice! Good for you! Um, assessing stream water quality with bugs. Casey. I love the stream. I'm a senior in high school. In my environmental education class, we go on day trips to do interesting things. This is about water quality testing unit where we search for bottom-dwelling invertebrates which we then count based on their tolerance to pollution. Our system is to wade around in local streams and kick up rocks and let all the critters flow downstream into our nets. It's a wonderful time if we get our water chemistry done beforehand. And this has really ignited my love for waterborne insects. It's a very helpful way to visualize the health of local streams. Also, it's nice being with my girlfriend. Hi, Emily. I love you. <laughs> hey, Emily. What's up? Your boyfriend loves you. That's cool. I've never heard of this. I didn't know that people did that people did this. That's very cool. They're kicking up bugs and setting them downstream for science. In the name of science. High school? Senior in high school. Good luck to you both. Number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we about to get down. get down. Ten kills on the board right now. Just wiped out Tomato Town. Smash. My friend just got down. I revived him. Now we're heading southbound. Now we're in the Pleasant Park Street. Look at the map, go to the marsh.